Hey guys, back with another video. Today I want to show you how to change the tail number inside the cockpit of the stock Cessna 172 in X-Plane 11. Now this is a pretty simple procedure, but you're going to need an image editor, something that will allow you to edit a PNG file, either on Mac or PC, it doesn't matter which platform, but you will need that. So let's get started. Now the first thing you need to do is locate the files you need to change. These can be located in the X-Plane 11 folder on your computer. If you click into that and we go into aircraft and then we go into laminar research and then there's the Cessna C-172 and you want to go into the objects folder and look for cockpit and cockpit underscore LIT. Those are the two files that you're going to use. Now it's important to make backup copies of both of these files before you modify them. So if you created a separate aircraft for the C-172 REP, you just want to navigate to that folder into objects and it's the same two files, cockpit and cockpit underscore LET. And again, make sure you back them up. Now these are DDS files in the X-Plane system. So you're going to have to convert these to PNG files in order to manipulate them. So what you want to do is make copies of the files cockpit and cockpit underscore LIT. And again, make sure you back them up. Okay guys, once you have your two files, your cockpit.dds and your cockpit underscore LIT DDS, you need to convert these to a format that you can edit. So I'm going to convert these to a PNG files. I'm on my Macintosh here. What I'll do here is I bring in, um, there's this online converter. It's called aconvert.com. You can go there and select image. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to choose file and then you'll go with it. Let's, let's do the cockpit first. So you'll choose the file. And then what you do is you have different target formats. I choose PNG hit convert now what it does is it's sucking in the file now and then it'll take a few moments to convert it you can see I already did the conversion here just to check things but it'll show up here there it is the BI 248 blah 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 all right so what I'll do now is I want to take a look at this full or this file so it's gonna bring it up bring up the image here file information all I do is I can just click on this okay and here is the actual file it's gonna bring it up right here and there you can see the file. Now it's in PNG format. And all I'm doing is I'm going to right click, save image as, and I'm going to save this as cockpit, but it's going to be saved as a PNG. Okay, so if I save that, boom, it's going to save it now as a PNG file. Okay, so I get rid of that one, and then I choose the second one, the LIT. You can see there's the file I just saved. I choose that. I'm going to do convert now. The difference between these two files is the the first file cockpit is the daylight um, view and the LIT is the evening is the nighttime view when the lights are on so you want to modify both and once this conversion is done it'll show up here and there it is the W6 BV blah 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 cockpit underscore LIT so we click this and again we're gonna get the uh, the file information we click this and there's the file itself and you can see it's a little darker okay so what I'm going to do is right click save image as and then just select that so I have the right name and boom it's going to save it so now I can close all this now I want to I, I'm going to go back and use this again because once I make the changes I have to convert it back to a DDS file so let me quit this or move this out of the way and now I've got my my images that I can modify so what I want to do now is I want to use a program called well I'm using this program called Piximator okay right click open Piximator and now there it is there's the file so I can move this stuff out of the way so I can see it all right so once I have this open in Piximator now I can go and modify the uh, the tail number in the in on this particular graphic and you can see it there it's N328 Tango Delta that's what I've changed it to previously so I'm going to make that a little bigger a much bigger so I can modify it okay so what I want to do is do this here once I have that so I'm doing the right color there you go now I'm going to modify this out okay or I should say black this all out okay do this real quick for you And then once I'm done with that, once I've cleared out this plate, then all I need to do is go to, I'm going to use text, I'm going to click text, I'm going to select the, the right text that I want, I'm going to go with, uh, where's impact, it's impact, okay, and we'll go to a yellow color, and we'll just change, we're going to, we're going to make this a little smaller, probably about, uh, 
Let's see, 36 will start there, and we'll start with 24. And we'll change this to Mickey Capitals N447 uh, Golf Foxtrot. Okay. And then once you have that done, let's switch this, switch this back to this tool here. I could just put this in the middle, make sure it's centered, and I could change this to any font I want, anything I want. So once that's all done, okay, I would go to my graphics program and I want to export this now as a PNG. Okay. So let me just next um, desktop tail number. So we're going to export this as a PNG. So I'm basically going to be overwriting this, right? So export that place. Okay. So now that's done. So now what I once I'm finished the cockpit, then delete. I'm going to open up the cock cockpit LIT with the same graphics software. And if I zoom in here, you can see right there it's got the 328 Tangle Delta for the nighttime view. So you have to make this modification going through those same steps and probably using a reduced um, brightness to make it look cooler at the nighttime. So basically, once that's done, you would export this as a PNG, okay? I'm not going to do that because I think you guys get the idea. And then after that's all done, now you've got your modified PNG files, okay? Now you got to convert them back to DDS. So you can actually get rid of these DDS files because these are no longer valid, okay? So then you're going to go back to your conversion software, choose a file, okay? I'm now going to take this cockpit file, the new one that I generated that has the new tail number. I'm going to open that up, and I'm going to convert it back to, where's DDS? DDS, okay? Convert. It's loading up the file now, and now it's going to do the conversion to DDS. This tool is very handy. It's free. It's aconvert.com. Okay, there you go. 9T Victor DX blah, blah, blah. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the download here. And right, I'm going to click on that. And it's actually going to just save that to my download file, my download folder automatically. And then I'm going to just move that over into a, an area where I'm going to now bring it back to the X-Plane files and replace the DDS files over there. You do the same thing with the LIT file. I think you guys get the idea. So once you have the, the converted DDS file or PNG files, the DDS files, you bring it back to X-Plane 11 in that folder that I told you about before, okay? And you replace them with the, the, the modified cockpit and cockpit LIT, I should say, okay? Now, here's the main thing again. Make sure you back everything up before you do this, all right? Because you want to make sure you have uh, uh, something to fall back on when you do that. And it's really only these two files that you're worried about. So that's basically how you modify the tail number uh, inside the cockpit of the Cessna 172, whether it's the stock 72 or the stock 72 with the, um, the SIM coders REP. I hope this was helpful, guys. Hit the like button if you like what you saw, and don't forget to subscribe to Bambino Games for more virtual reality simulation. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.